Hello everyone, it's Karina and Karina is me. So today, yeah, I dyed my hair back to black because I'm gonna do something really special and I think it's time for me to have my black hair back and it's actually not full black. There's a little bit blue in it, but I don't know if you guys could see that. But anyway, it's not the point. I'm here to tell you guys a good news. I've been posting on my Instagram for like a month ago, and there's a lot of people guessing about it, but only one person have get the right answer, and I feel really surprised because I didn't tell anyone, and but that person get it right. So I was like, what? Are you serious? I think it's the time to tell you guys where I'm going because I'm gonna go to there in the next month. Yeah, I want to have some opinions from you guys about what I can do or what you guys want me to show you guys in there. So which country, which place I'm gonna go to in next month is... It's... Jeju Island! Yeah, it's Jeju though. I'm gonna go to Jeju Island next month from like August to September. And I'll be staying in Jeju Island for a month. I'm gonna do work exchange in there. Why am I choose Jeju Island? It's because there's one day I've been searching on Jeju Island because I want to go to travel in there. And suddenly this page pop it out. There's actually have this kind of work exchange. I think it's both good for me. Like I could stay there and I don't have to pay for my hotel fee. And I also have time to travel around Jeju Island. So I choose this way. There's actually already have Taiwanese doing the work exchange in there. So I think it's safe for me to go to there too. There's really so many people go to there from different countries. So I think it's a good chance for me to get to know about working in overseas to kind of project. One project is that that you didn't have working holiday passport. You stay there and you work for their hotel, you work for their restaurant, you work for their farm to get the free stay. And another one is that you actually have working holiday visa and you can stay in their hotel, work in their hotel so they could give you the money. And I didn't have working holiday visa so I choose to work exchange. I work in their hotel for two days a week. They will offer us culture exchange with another member from another countries. I'm really excited about it to be honest because I, I have never done this kind of things before. Since I'm gonna go to Jeju Island, I really want to travel around Jeju Island and introduce you guys a lot of restaurant or activity that you guys could do in Jeju Island. You know, like good cafe, some kind of good place that you guys could visit. A lot of things I really want to share with you guys, but I'm not sure what kind of things that you guys wanted to see, to watch, or to know. So I am here to ask for your opinion too. I've been searching about some activity that we can do in Jeju Island. The first thing is parasailing. You know, like parasailing. And the second one is paragliding. This one is like flying in the sky. And I want to do this too, but I don't know if there's anyone could go with me. <laughs> Snorkeling is really beautiful too. Like Jeju Island is having a very, very clear ocean. So I think it's really good to try for it. And also date boat. There's also Jade Sport 2. Sea walking. I want to try this too. I have saw it on the internet. It's really beautiful. There's a lot of fish. Anything you can see in the oceans. So I really want to try this too. Serving. I, I can't serving. Like I'm too stupid in it. So give up on this. And then the next one is scuba diving. I never tried this before. And I think I will consider about it. I think it's really dangerous. <laughs> and the next one is zip line. Zip line is like hanging on here on the zip line and then you blew to another zip line. Yeah. Transparent kayak. I think I'll try that because it's really beautiful. I've saw the pictures and it's like oh my god, it's like paradise. You can see the clear water and ocean and there's so many things down on you. You just have to stay on the kayak and then row 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 your boat. Then you can see everything so i think it's really special like i really like this yeah i think it's the safest for me <laughs> i don't know if you guys have any idea about Jeju island where any of you have been to Jeju island you could tell me some information or opinion that i could do it in there or like tell me what 
things you want me to introduce for you guys I think it's kind of like a good news for me because I'm gonna try another things again so I think the video is gonna end right now and the video is gonna end in here and I hope you guys will like this video and I hope we could have more chance to communicate it I'm gonna see you guys in next video bye